John keeps a so-called cash reserves bag of money in his house. From an accounting or, let's say, economic perspective in general, we put that bag of money in the stocks category. We take a snapshot at a certain point in time and, for example, say that at 5 p.m. today, John had $1,000 as cash reserves. Furthermore, it's important to note that stocks can be depleted or accumulate. For example, we'll say John's refrigerator malfunctions and at 7 p.m. the same day, he takes $100 from his cash reserves to pay someone to fix it. If we took a snapshot of his cash reserves bag at 7 p.m., the value would have been $900. The same way, John will receive his paycheck tomorrow at 3 p.m., of which he sets aside $200 each month as cash reserves. As such, if we take a snapshot of his bag tomorrow at 3 p.m., the value will be $1,100. To keep things organized, 1. His cash reserves are stocks, which can be depleted or accumulate. And 2. John's emergency expenses and his monthly paycheck are things that deplete or add to his cash reserves, and we call those things flows, the variables which change stocks. In other words, you can think of stocks as snapshots that you take at a certain point in time and flows as actions which make stocks go up or down. When analyzing a company, for example, we'll want to look at a balance sheet to find stocks or an income statement to find flows. It really is that simple.